Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Anastasia and today I will be doing I decided to follow somebody's tutorial challenge. So this challenge been in the web for a while and I decided why not try it. So today I will be following Nail Nails by Christy Mackin tutorial Sharpie and Holochrome nail design. I always like this kind of design. They're abstract, they really pop. And I hope I will be able to repeat this tutorial. So first, let's watch it. Hi everybody, I'm Kirsty Meekin from Nail Nails. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to combine holographic chrome and a Sharpie design. This is gonna look so cool. So we decided to do it on acrylic nail because I think this kind of design will definitely look cool on actual nails and she used stiletto shaped tips so we also did stiletto I sculptured it with acrylic so before I start working I always put on my gloves and the surface is already prepped I am going just to buff it because I need to make sure that it's all smooth and clean so I'm using a very light buffer I think it's 220 grit just to make sure that the surface is all nice and clean then I will remove the dust with a napkin and a cleanse solution so our nail will be completely clean and dry. Dark, or if you want to adjust it, and we've got videos showing you how to make it a little bit different. But no, today we just want the color as it is. So we're gonna pop that in the lamp. So we already have a nude background because that's the color I used for the background. And unfortunately, I don't have exactly the same top coat that Christy is using. So I'm going to apply another kind of top coat right on top of our nail. When I was getting ready for the tutorial, I actually watched many challenges like this one and the one by Simply Nailogical. So she said the main um, like key to success is to have the actual products that the person is using. Because I have her tutorial and now I have all of the exact same products that she used on her face. But unfortunately I couldn't do that because I will need to wait like six months probably to get them all delivered. So now I just know how my top coat and the lamp are working with the chrome powder. So I'm going to cure it for 10 seconds. I am using holographic powder. And oh, I'm actually supposed to use an eyeshadow applicator for it. So dip it in and apply. I think the stiletto also looks kind of cool with this powder. Okay, then we're going to wipe off the excess with a very soft brush. I'm going to apply top coat then. I'm using tack free top coat. But as we're working on the nail, not on the tip, I also recommend you to slightly buff the edges and apply non-acid primer so this chrome hollow powder will actually last for a few weeks. So I have the special video about sealing the chrome powders. I will definitely leave the link in the description box so you can watch it later. And now we are going to fully cure it for one minute in LED lamp. My tree of many pens. 
and I'm going to pick my colours. This is something really quick that you can do on a client if you haven't got much time, but you want to do something that's quite wow, but doesn't take a lot of time. It doesn't take a lot of skill either. I have plenty of different markers and Sharpies, but unfortunately I don't have exactly the same brand Christy is using, so I guess the look will still be a little bit different, but I will try to not just randomly apply them, but will try to actually use the same color. So the first one she used was orange. Our top coat is cured. Okay, so I'm going to do like three spots. And actually, I think her tip is slightly shorter than the nail we have here. Okay. Then she used pink. It really, really looks like she's applying them randomly, but we all know that, yes, we can apply it randomly, but still it's better to try to make some sense with the colors because it will look much more prettier. And now I'm going to use blue and honestly I'm a bit scared because this color is so dark and I hope it will not mess up the whole design. Well, actually, mine blue doesn't look so dark. Okay, I'm going to use purple next. And I really like her accent because when I uh, studied English in school, we used to learn British English. And then I started watching, you know, all these Hollywood movies. And I remember when I used to say hot instead of hot, my teacher was like, no, you're pronouncing it wrong. So still then I switched to American English and yeah, just now I'm used to it. <laughs> then I'm going to use black and my black also looks definitely lighter but I hope it's not going to be a big problem. And I usually avoid using black a lot, but according to this picture, I shouldn't be. Here. So this is gel residue wipe off solution. I have put some of that into a spray bottle. This is what makes it so quick. You can spray this, it doesn't matter if it hits the skin, it's still going to be fine. So this is definitely the most important moment. So I also have my sleep-free solution, tech-free gel cleanse. And let's try spraying. Okay, one more. Okay, something started happening. <gasps> Yay, it's happening. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think we need to add a little bit near the cuticle, so I need to be really specific. Okay, and yes, I know that you need to stop, but I want just to add a little bit on the bottom. Then I think it worked. Well, actually the top, I think it looks almost exactly like her design and the bottom is slightly different but i don't think with this kind of design it's actually possible to repeat it even if the same person is doing that because it's still gonna turn out differently so now we need to wait until it's dry and seal it with the top coat okay sealing it now with the top coat 
for this kind of long nail you definitely need a different kind of brush actually when sculpting it I used my giant 22 Kalinsky brush I have a video with a t test drive of this brush as well so this kind of nails long nails are the ones when you need longer brushes Ooh, and with the top coat it shines so much better cure it one minute in LED even though I have a bazillion different rhinestones I don't have exactly the ones that she has Oh no. So now I'm like that bloggers like, well, I don't have all kinds of products. That's why I'm going to. So, yeah, unfortunately, I'm I'm just one of them because I really don't have this kind of products, but I have a different holographic one and I think it will look good here as well. So I will apply um, accents bling on. This is the one I use to secure rhinestones. it's gonna look nice because we have different colors here in our design I mean like blue purple pink and I'm going to use all these colors of the rhinestones okay then we are going to cure and I will also secure them with the tack free top coat so they will stay there for a longer time so this is the finished design the finished nail and it's not exactly like the one was showed on a tutorial, but I think it still looks similar. And even though it didn't come out like a total copy, I still enjoyed it, have fun. And what I learned while doing this design is number one, it really matters what kind of markers or sharpies you are using. So take your time and practice to find a really good colors. Another thing is the spray itself, so it also matters from what distance you're spraying and it just works differently all the time. And also when you apply top coat, the look changes a little bit. So if you think that your design went like, well, not really pretty, but then you apply the top coat and it looks so much better, trust me. So just don't be afraid to put the top coat and you will see the result. Also, if you just don't like it at all, just wipe it off and try it over again. What's great about this design that you can try and fix and go over again as many times as you want. So I really enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and trying to follow Sharpie design. And honestly, this is my first time using Sharpies in the design, even though I've seen this kind of design and I knew about this idea, I personally never tried them. So it was my first time doing it like that. And I encourage you to try it as well, because it's really fun and simple. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. All the products I've used today will be listed below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.